Hey, what's going on everybody? So today's video I'm making on blacking out the chrome on the interiors of your vehicles. I still see a lot of people asking uh, what other people do about it because whenever you drive sometimes it can uh, blind you and uh, it can get annoying and all that stuff. So I thought I'd make a video just to show people what I did. I took all the dip that I had off of the chrome just to show you guys that it is chrome. Uh, but I had it on there for over a year and I opened this console probably twice a day. It had a lot of use on it and it held up just fine. So for this console all I did was open it and I'm going to take out the four Phillips head screws out and then uh, this whole piece will be able to come off and I can I'll mask it off and prep it to spray. Alright guys so I got the top of this inner console off. It's pretty easy with just those four screws. Um, there's a couple of ways you can do this to the chrome and you can paint it which is a more permanent solution. You can wrap it or you can plasti dip it which is more of like a liquid wrap. And preparation is key. I've seen a lot of people that use plasti dip and have gotten terrible results because they don't prep the area right. Um, I've used it for years now and blacking out chrome is one of the biggest uses for it because it's so simple and easy. And that's the route I choose because it's also pretty cheap. It's five bucks a can. And with one can alone, you could probably, well, you more than likely will be able to black out every single piece of chrome on your interior if that's what you choose to do. So another good thing with using Plastidip is you don't have to worry about taping off every little crevice and detail in the corners and all that because it's peelable. So what you'll do is, what I'm going to do is mask off this outer part and leave this bigger piece for the handle and then I'll peel that off and let's leave the chrome untouched because there's that thick enough line all the way around it that it'll cut the dip for me so when I peel this off this won't come off. I'm just going to use some alcohol and a microfiber cloth to clean the area really well and then I'll use tape to tape it off and then maybe some newspaper for this uh, big area up here so it doesn't get overspray and then I'll show you guys how I spray it. Alright so there it is all masked off did a quick easy uh, newspaper and tape all the way around it uh, not really much to it. I wiped off the surrounding area as well as the chrome on this side and underneath now all that's left is to go ahead and apply the Plasti Dip looks like this um, caps off on this because I uh, i already used this on some stuff, but you can get it at Walmart or really any local auto store. Whenever you get ready to spray, you want to go ahead and hit this outside also just as good as this chrome part because you want to be able to peel that whenever you're done. So, so there's not much to it. Um, you really don't want to like hold the can down in one spot like this. You don't want to do that at all. Just simply uh, go side to side with it. Every time you do, let off. So I always do a little bit more than 50% on the uh, first pass. Usually it works out pretty well for me. So all I'm going to do is do this top part and then I'm going to flip it over. Do the bottom part and make sure I get the middle of the two really well. And probably do about 5 coats. and Wait about 5 to 10 minutes between each coat. Uh, it dries pretty quickly when it's hotter outside. So now I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. So here's after all the coats have dried. Looks pretty good. It's all smooth. Flat black. Now I'm going to take off the paper. Peel this off and then reinstall. Alright, so here's the finished product. Looks really good. Matches all the interior for the most part. Got rid of the chrome and I'll probably keep that on for another year. Like I said, I only removed the previous dip for the sake of the video, but holds on great. Just make sure you put enough coats on. And that's it for the video, guys. I hope it helped anybody that was looking to black out the chrome or just remove that shininess from the interior. Feel free to comment anything below that you have questions on or concerns about that maybe I can help with. 
And if you haven't already, subscribe to see more. And I will catch you guys later.